Hey my beauty family, welcome back to my channel Makeup Simplified where we discuss all things fabulous and affordable. We have an exciting look to discuss today and only using drugstore products. That too, only Milani products today. Milani has come up with such fabulous products that will easily rival their high-end counterparts. And today I'm going to spill all the secrets about all the beautiful products we have from Milani here that were used to create this look. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm gonna put the headband on first okay so let's start I've already done my skincare routine so I'm not gonna show that one for the eye makeup today I have the Milani gilded mini eyeshadow palette I really love these small size palettes because they are so convenient to take with you while you travel it has the entire family of colors together so it's very easy to create your looks using these palettes and they are about ten dollars so that's really really like economical and really good quality as well. I am going to use this Milani Hydrating Skin Quenching Blurring Primer. This is a really good primer at a really good price. So I will start off with applying some of it on my face entirely. I always like to apply my primer with a brush because that helps and enhances the coverage. Basically it ensures full coverage and that you have the primer all over your face and you're not missing out on any spot remember to also put the primer on your neck i always emphasize that we're going to be putting foundation on our ear and our neck so you want to make sure that you also have the primer there because definitely neck is not the place where you want your foundation creasing enhanced with hyaluronic acid and coconut water so i do smell a little coconutty flavor in there uh it's not bothering me and it's not very strong so it's okay you can you can definitely use it but it's definitely very hydrating now based on your skin type you want to select your primer because that is going to think of it a primer it's priming your skin if your skin is oily you want to use something that's going to be mattifying a little bit you don't want it overly drying but in the areas that get oily you can put a mattifying primer so for example if your t-zone is the one that gets oily the rest of the face is okay i would put a mattifying primer right on the t-zone and a regular primer or hydrating primer on the rest of the face the reason why i'm saying this is like some people have just oily sections and the rest of it can be actually very very dry so you don't want to put a mattifying primer on your dry skin it's just going to enhance that dryness so make sure to select the primer correctly for your skin type for the concealer i have this milani under eye brightener it's a number two primer and it's the shade melon i am going to put that all over my lid and Again, you don't want to put too much. Remember, less is more when it comes to makeup. It's always easy to build up on what you have applied, but never take it away. So it's it's okay if you put less amount of concealer. I am just going to set this concealer with the lightest shade over here. I'm going to use to set the concealer. Everything is evened up and go all the way under the brows as well. We're going to go with this third shade right here. We're going to go just above the crease. And then we have this shade and now I'm gonna go into the crease so I'm pointing my brush this way when I have to go into the crease and now we're gonna use a little bit of black eyeliner really really close to the upper lash line then we're gonna smudge it a bit whenever you have to smudge it make sure that you're doing it inwards like this and I've made it a little further sharp and I'm gonna smudge it again spend good enough time smudging it so you want to really make it nice and smoky and now I'm going to use a really small brush and then I'm going to go with this shade a little bit slightly gray brown shade over here and I'm going to smoke it out further. Like I said, make sure you're smoking it out inwards like this. So the maximum pigment goes here and then you're going to bring it in, bring it in and then just dab, dab, dab. And then I'm using one of the brown shades over here to just go on top over here. And then using a clean brush with no product on it at all, I am just going to gently fluff out the margins. 
So if there's any, any harsh margins at all, they're taken care of at, at this point. I'm gonna finish the other eye and then I'll come back for the rest of the steps of the eye makeup. If you want to make any corrections, you wanna use micellar water. This is my favorite. I just take a little bit of micellar water or a cotton pad and dip a flat brush like this and then correct the shape if you have just about and that. And then you can get a good, nice, flawless. All right, we're gonna move to the rest of the steps. This is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. This is the same one that we've used for smudging. Tide line my waterline. I really love how Milani has come up with all these amazing products and really at a good price like this. Like the stuff is just about $10 for most of their products. And I am also going to tight line my lower waterline. And when I'm doing that, I'm actually even going a little further out. I reach the outer corner, I kind of bring it. So from being on the waterline, I am actually going a little out. Again, even if it's uneven, don't worry about it. Like I said, we're gonna smudge back. I'm gonna use the slightest shade to go under my brow to kind of highlight. And then we're gonna highlight the inner corner, just kind of brighten it up. And now I'm using this gray smoked out shade and I am going to go under here. And then I'm going in with this light brown shade over here. The Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Mascara. This is one good mascara, let me tell you that. I mean, the, the wand is really good where you can use it even for your lower lashes. I like that I can use this mascara wand to separate individual lashes so easily so it looks much more fluffy and much more voluminous. I have the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Foundation. This is the shade Sand Beige. We're gonna heat up the product like we always do. It's very creamy and we're gonna require only a little bit. Fantastic. So we have the foundation on now and we are going to set it up. This is my favorite makeup trick is to use makeup setting spray setting up everything in place so i have again the milani conceal plus perfect two concealers so i think melon is going to be perfect for me so i'm going to be using melon it is an under eye brightener i'm going to set everything up with some powder, especially the under eye. So I usually just set up the areas that tend to crease and I don't put powder all over my face because uh, it makes my skin otherwise very dry. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna set under the eyes. That's like my most important area. And then I'm also gonna set right here where the laugh lines are. So there's minimal creasing over there. Remember, you cannot entirely prevent your laugh lines and those kind of things from completely creasing. It's, it's natural for you to have some amount of creasing. You're just gonna minimize it. Okay, dog, next we have the contour. You again wanna use very little amount. We have the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Contour number two. This is very much like the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I have deepened it a little bit to give me much more of a sun-kissed look. And if you ever notice that, oh, my contour got a little bit too high, always, you can use a little bit of foundation on top immediately. So this will ensure that you still have the contour, but it's not as dark. I'm gonna use some highlighter, Let's put it on the high points of the cheek, bridge of the nose, on the cupid's bow. You have to be quick with it because it can dry. Up, we have the blush just pink doesn't look great on my skin tone and sometimes coral can be too orange I'm using the Milani cheek kiss liquid blush in the shade rose romance if you want to add an extra oomph to your blush you can use a powder blush on top of this and who does blushes better than Milani like the Milani blushes are the baked blushes are so so highly rated and for good reason they are amazing so I'm gonna use a little bit of it. The shade I have, ooh, that's very pigmented. Uh, the shade I have is Luminoso. 
this is a shade I've been using for years now. Whenever I go for Milani blushes, I usually just go for this particular shade. This is perfect. And then comes our lipstick. For lip liner, I have two lip liners here and I'm trying to think which one I want to use. Do I want to go with the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in shade Cinnamon or shade Saucy Toffee? Maybe I'll use a combination of both. Let me start and let's see where it takes us. Then I'm gonna use the cinnamon statement lip liner and go inside this brown lip liner. I'm going to use the Milani Stay Put Liquid Lipstick. This was launched recently, and the shade I have is Iconic or number 130. I'm gonna use this flat brush to just correct the shape or any uh, mistakes that you have with the lipstick. And then I am going to set the whole look with some setting spray. And I'm gonna come back to you with my final look. And here is my final look, you guys. Let me know in the comments below how you like this look. This is a smoky, matte smoky eyes using only Milani products. I really, really recommend using Milani products. Their lipsticks, their lip liners, eyeshadows. I mean, everything has been like beyond amazing. So check it out, tell me if you use it, and let me know in the comments below which of the Milani products that you tried did you love the most. I'm so, so sure you're gonna love all of them. So let me know. Make sure to hit that like button and do subscribe to my channel. I can share all my secrets with you for skincare, hair care, makeup. Don't forget to check my Instagram, it's make.up.simplified and you'll find a ton of content over there as well. So take a look at that too. And that's it for today's video, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye!